Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on normality tests in SPSS. So oftentimes in research, uh, it's important for us to know, or we want to know, if a distribution is normal. And there's a couple different ways we can test for that in SPSS that I'm going to show you. So here's kind of a typical setup in the data view in SPSS. We have 90 participants. Each one has an ID. We have two groups, in this case control and a CBT group. And then we have some pretest scores and some post-test scores. So let's say in this instance, we want to determine if our pretest and post-test scores are normally distributed. Now, of course, in this example, these are dependent variables. And when we think of normal distributions, we tend to think of independent variables. But there are a wide variety of situations where we might want to test for normality. So first we'll go to Analyze, then Descriptive Statistics, then Explore. And you can see I already have this populated, uh, but by default, of course, this would be empty, and we'll move uh, pretest and post-test both into the dependent list box. And statistics will leave the same, just the descriptives. And plots, uh, by default, would actually look like this. But all we really need for this test would be um, histogram and normality plots with tests. Uh, the box plots can even be set to none. Then select continue and then click OK. And you can see there's a lot of output here for both of these variables. Uh, first we have a case processing summary. In this case I had no missing values. Uh, so this is fairly straightforward. Then looking at these descriptives, you can see there's a wide range of descriptives available for each variable. I uh, want to take special note of the value of skewness and kurtosis in each example. See that it's 0 0.078 skewness for the pretest, but it's 0.365 for the post-test and for kurtosis, it's negative 0.33 for the pretest and negative 0.937 for the post-test. And then we s move down a little further and we have the actual test of normality. Uh, there are two tests of normality. The first one is the kolmogorov smirnov test, which is usually referred to as a KS test. And the second is the Shapiro-Wilk test. And you can see each variable is listed. First, the pretest. It gives you the actual statistic and then the significance. So what this significance value tells you is for this variable, is the data statistically significantly different from a normal distribution? And in this case, you could see it's 0.2. If we use the alpha as 0 0.05, uh, this would not be statistically significantly different from a normal distribution. So we would say that the null hypothesis is accepted. That is, we believe that the pretest data is normally distributed. And similarly, for the Shapiro-Wilk, 0.724. That is not statistically significant. So again, we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. And we would assume that the data in the pretest variable is normally distributed. Now, for the post-test variable, uh, our results are different. Uh, we have different statistic, of course. And we can see that uh, there is a statistically significant uh, KS test result and a statistically significant Shapiro-Wilk. So in this case, because these values are lower than 0.05, we would reject the null hypothesis. 
and therefore we're saying that the post-test data is not normally distributed. So you might be wondering if these are both tests or no of normality, why is there such a difference between the significance values for the KS test and the significance values of the Shapiro-Wilk? These tests analyze the data in a different way and it's fairly commonly accepted that the Shapiro-Wilk value is more valid. As you can see in this case, you would reach the same conclusion in terms of the null hypothesis uh, either way for both of these variables. But there certainly could be instances where it appears normal uh, under, say, the KS model and does not appear normal under Shapiro-Wilk, or the opposite could be true. In that case, uh, if you get differing results between the two tests of normality, uh, go with the Shapiro-Wilk. So as we move down, we can see this is the histogram for the pretest, which the, the Shapiro-Wilk and the KS test indicated that uh, this data was normally distributed. So this is the histogram, and it does look more or less normally distributed. And this is the histogram for the post-test, which, of course, the test of normality indicated that this data was not normally distributed. And just by looking at it, it's fairly clear it, it is not normally distributed. I hope this video on testing for normality was useful to you. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. And I'll be happy to assist you.